right? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> On MSNBC, one commenter said today that if Trump wins, America is done. It's over. It's finished. Watch this. That if Donald Trump wins, nothing else matters because it's over. Morning Joe might act, just to take a little example, Morning Joe might not exist anymore because Donald Trump has said, as all autocrats say, what they will do. And he has said, if I'm elected, I want the FCC reporting directly into me. And he will cancel this show. I mean, you need to think that, <clears throat> excuse me, that extreme. It's over. Freedom is over if Donald Trump gets elected. It's that simple. No other issue matters. Every other issue sprinkles down from that. However you feel about the economy, however you feel about whatever issue you're dealing with, we turn into an autocracy. What our forefathers fought for 250 years ago is over. That's what's at stake at this election. Everything else is a subtext to that. Yeah. <laughs> little uh, dramatic. Uh, freedom is over if Trump wins. All right, let's get some reaction from political commentator Lydia Schaefer. Lydia, good to see you. Lydia, do they really believe that the sky is falling and life on earth will come to an end? I mean, I would actually argue the opposite. The opposite. We're, we're seeing gonna say. more and more freedoms being taken away. I mean, this is, this is ludicrous. Truly. From what I saw, um, this basically he was worried about the show that he's on um, being canceled by. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's what it was. OK, that's what he was saying from what I saw. Um, but just add this to the list. It's another reason to support Trump. It's interesting because the left has attempted to get right wing networks like this one and many others removed from subscription TV services. Yet no one on the conservative side is you know, threatened to do anything to the liberal media. We don't trust them now that they've been exposed, but claiming that freedom will be over is quite the stretch. In fact, it's the opposite. We are losing many of our freedoms more and more each day that this Biden regime is in control. And the reason that I personally will be voting for Donald Trump again is because of the fact that I value freedom and what America is all about. Yeah. yeah, you know, I I really would love to have been on that panel. Could you oh, give me? Yeah. Because I, I I would I would venture to bet this lunatic uh, that Donald Trump not only would not ban their show, but I believe Donald Trump would fight to the death for their right to have that Ooh, show. Oh yeah, because yeah. we are free speech advocates. We we want the crazies out there talking about it. Because you know what, the crazies make the truth. It, it, they bring it to light, right? So, yeah. uh, well, we were, la were labeled the crazies, right? For questioning COVID, for questioning yeah. uh, being shadow banned, for talking about certain things on social media, for yeah. even suggesting that there could be some type of collusion between social media. Pretty much everything that conservatives suspected yeah. has come to light. But, yeah. but for perspective, Lydia, I, I want to take you here. They didn't always hate Donald Trump on Morning Joe. Oh, I love this. Check out this moment from just a few years ago. Oh, Watch your head. You're very tall. How are you? Nice to see you. Mm -hmm. How's it going? Okay. How's it going? Oh, here we go. That's great. The other one is the uh, charm there. Oh, there it is. Right here. Have a seat Have here. Have a seat, sir. Thank you. Very okay. Much. None of us need that much hugging. Okay. So let me ask you, let me start uh, start with the, the tough question. Is Mika Brzezinski oh. not just as beautiful today as the first time you called into our show in 07 and embarrassed her? I did embarrass her. I said she was very beautiful and I watched the show because of her beauty, not because of any politics or anything. And Is she's that actually, still the case? Yeah, she's gotten more beautiful. Ridiculous. Actually. Wow. How, how does that happen? Power. Arnold? Is, power. It, is okay. it her power? The show has become so successful that she's become very powerful. You like that one too, Joe. You better do. Great. Go check the hair. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Get over here. Go on. Get over. Oh. First time sure. seen on TV. All right. Just right. Oh. All right. Oh. 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 Hairspray. But it is mine. It's there. Isn't it? It's there. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm, is, is it? Does it feel good? Yeah. Oh, oh, sure. I'm very on <laughs> Charlie. Oh, Look at that. All right. All right. Um, no, but is it is it there? It's is it, all there. It's really. It's I don't know how it looks now because now the hairspray is perfect. It didn't um, move. How about the hairspray? I'm not supposed to use hairspray because hairspray destroys the ozone. So I'm sitting in my apartment with hairspray and say, oh, oh, the ozone. I mean, give me a break. Al Gore, take away his Nobel Prize. It's, you know. <laughs> oh, you, 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 Wow. wow! I was not ready for that. Lydia, what a difference just a few years uh -huh. makes when you're chasing the almighty dollar instead of a, an almighty God, right? 
Amen. Amen. But look, it's the woman who says that Trump is a danger to our country and that he wants to take away everything you've ever worked for in your life. Everything the left accuses Trump of doing is a direct reflection of what they are in fact doing. So many celebrities and figures in the media adored Donald Trump before he ran for president. And this is a great example of that. 